Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, I'm trying to get my lovely fruit medley going and warm up some food. Because I don't feel like cooking no damn breakfast. Get my hibiscus lemon tea going. Well, actually, it's going. You know, it's going. Let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Anyways, so yeah, okay, now I was supposed to make a video about this a couple days ago and I forgot, I'm kind of glad I did, you know, some other things out of my brain, anyways, okay, I'm about to put y'all down for a minute while I... Okay, anyways, yeah, so, about this, this whole thing with Hawaii, and this volcano that has erupted, yeah, I know I'm a bit late, but I don't care, so, yeah, now, <laughs> first off, I do not recall any reports or anything, you know, even coming from Hawaii or whatever, nobody stating that, oh, that it might erupt. They usually do that, you know? They usually do that saying, oh, well, it could erupt in a few days or whatever, whatever. Even when it comes down to, um, you know, the volcano. Oh, it was a volcano. <laughs> Even when it comes down to, you know, volcanoes here, you know, on the mainland. Okay, mainland, you know. Anyways, there was none of that. Two, I would not be surprised if it comes out that it was orchestrated some kind of how. Like some elements were put together to force it to erupt. Would not be surprised at all. Three. I don't even remember if I was counting it off. Whatever. Three. Now. I don't know how many people know this. But. Uh, the elite. Are basically going to Hawaii. I'll put elites are basically going over to Hawaii and buying up land. Now, my thing is, is that the whole island was, the whole island was inhabited, okay? But yet they were able to get people out of there. So it leads me to it leads me to believe, you know, or actually question how many people were actually living on that island. One, two, I think this is the same island that a lot of the elites are buying up land on. Okay. Now, where I'm also getting at with that is the fact that basically forcibly pushing them off their land. You know, the, the native Hawaiians were already on there. And then on top of that, they get to have, they, they, the elites who are happening, who, I can't even say this correctly, who happen to be growing their own food and everything are also, um, Okay, volcanic, uh, volcanic, uh, volcanic land, you know, even on, on the islands of Hawaii, they, they grow an immense amount of stuff and it's extremely fertile and them crops are going to be just so delicious, okay? Now, I'm thinking 
that that was also another reason for the eruption to happen you know to help um uh, up their production of them making food or growing food for themselves and some more stuff cucumber watermelon no cucumber honeydew yes it's refreshing delicious and pop that hoe in the freezer. Anyways. <laughs> Ugh, stop cussing, Marie. Um, but yeah. And it, it just... It just, it just bothers me that... Just how this whole thing happened with the... Um, with the eruption. It, 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 just, it just seems... Something's just not right with it. It just isn't right with it. To me. To me. Uh, there was something else, too, I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah. This Iran thing. <laughs> you see? <laughs> I know I'm late. And, yeah, Stump did say, oh, I'm going to take us out of it. But my thing is. Like I told him on Twitter. I don't know if he seen it or not. You know, how... How can you take us out of something... That we... Were never really involved in. See, when Obicha went over there... Took that 40 million or 40 billion dollars to Iran... The bribe money... Um, who was it? Oh, yeah. Okay, I was thinking. I was thinking. I don't know why I had John Kerry up in there, too. Anyways, but yeah. Basically, that was unsuccessful. And me, you see, <laughs> I paid attention. <laughs> After that 40 million or whatever was delivered to Iran, I forgot who, well, anyways, I guess Obitcha got the briefing, well, of course he did, that Iran either didn't, well, no, that Iran didn't sign it still, even though they were given bribe money. Anyways, hold on, let me. Uh, I'm just throw it, put it down. Okay, hopefully y'all uh, just, just listen. I'm trying to do my tea and all of that loveliness. I'm trying not to. I just wiped that off. Anyways, anyways. So yeah. Anyways, so like the day after when he. No, I think it was a few days later, um, after that money was taken over there, there was a press conference involving Ovicha, because he was still president at that time, still acting president. Anyways, so, that, now see, the Russian thingy happened way before Shitlery lost, okay? They were balling crap on Russia for the, for the longest. You know, for the longest. So then, after, yeah, after uh, he gets word that Iran or whatever, uh, I think that Iran took the money and still didn't sign the agreement. Or they told him, you know, yeah, we'll get back to you in a few days or whatever, whatever. Or they just dashed off and was like, forget it. We're not, we're not going to take your money. Anyways. Sugar. Anyway, so then it turns into uh, like whenever, like after, like I was saying, my bad. <laughs> like I was saying, um, with the press conference, uh, he once he mentions Russia, 
he under under his breath he mumbles and mentions Iran. I thought that was pretty suspicious. You know. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this real quick. That was one of my key indicators that Iran didn't sign it. Okay. Um. What else? Uh, anyways, yeah. So. I had about three or four of them, but that was like my biggest one. And then thereafter, every time Russia was mentioned under the breath, I ran. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I said, I thought that was pretty suspicious. Anyways. Now, oh, that's nice. Now for like the, a good minute, a good uh, beginning portion of the whole Russian crap. Um, this is uh, post elections. Um, under their breath again, they would mention Iran. Okay, <laughs> and so I figured something was up with that. And so then, uh, when John Kerry went over there and made basically his final attempt. To get Iran to sign it, he came back pissed. <laughs> he came back all types of mad. So I'm, um, of course, I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, they must not have signed it. <laughs> that or they wanted to change some stipulations. But if they change the stipulations. I honestly believe that Kerry would go ahead and uh, would still agree with the agreement. But something was telling me, nah, nah, it, it, it was the fact that it wasn't signed. That's why he's mad. It wasn't signed. They didn't take the bait. And I kept, <laughs> and I will continuously keep saying, I ran ain't stupid. Their, their, their leader person or whatever over there, he's not stupid. Okay, <laughs> he is not. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, so yeah. Come to find out sometime later. Fast forward till now. Oh okay. Fast forward till now. Uh, there has been documents that were recently put out showing that the Iran deal wasn't signed. Now see me. I didn't personally see it, but I do know somebody who did see it, <laughs> and she, she came to me, she's like, Maria, what just signed? I was like, I already knew that, <laughs> and I listed out how, how I knew. Anyways, anyways, so, um, my thing is, is how can uh how can trump take us out of something that was never officially signed congress nor iran signed it like you i'm sorry for the whole uh long-winded story <laughs> i'm sorry about that like i told you i was trying to get my stuff together you know anyways but yeah how how can that be how can that be? I think I should open up this window. Let some some light up in the house. Anyways, well, there is already windows open. But still, <laughs> anyways. But yeah, how can that be? Now, you sit up there trumping us. Uh, not trumping us up. But, um, you know, everybody keeps sitting up there saying, oh, the Iran deal this, the Iran deal that. And I'm just like, it's not even signed. So how the hell... Can y'all talk this mess about it? And then, like I like I just sat up there and said, how can you take us out of something that was never officially signed? How? But then he turns around and he and he says, but we're gonna put the harshest sanctions upon Iran. And I'm just like, why? Why? At behest of, of the state of Israel? Really? Really? Like, just stop. Stop it. But then again, I forgot. 
I mean, I see what I, I see what Trump is doing with not with this uh not having any kind of invasion efforts or you know without going and doing any bomb strikes even though he's bombing us out of so many people already you know i i get that but it may just end up turning into another syria where oh we're not gonna go ahead and do that and then, what like a week later there's already bombs going off in iran with the united states name on it anyways anyways you know I'm thinking that it's going to be one of those instances because I because I ran dropped the petrol dollar, you know, because they 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 dropped uh, our money maker. Of course, <laughs> those involved, including the state of Israel, especially the state of Israel, are going to have a fit about it. They already are, you know, and that's why they so badly want us. <laughs> to go over and invade Iran. And it's just like, just stop. So what? They dropped the American dollar. If we weren't so damn horrible trying to... If we weren't all up in everybody else's business doing all kinds of unspeakable acts to everybody else and some more mess, we probably would have a whole lot more respect than what we're getting right now, you know? Like, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> I mean, show a serious example by prosecuting our, our corrupt leaders, you know? Ooh. Yep, that's mucus. You know? Do that. You know? Show the world that, that you know, either we're, we're, we're trying to change our ways or our, our habits or whatever... And you know, start start somewhere. You know? Let's start somewhere. Let's stop being the bullies. You know now 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 I will agree with Stump. Oh my gosh, this woman is trying to have rats all up in this damn house. Now I do agree with Stump. With him mentioning uh, shutting down America for a while until we can get things together. But then I, I, I think we're doing that. I don't know, something's telling me that it might, it might involve... A lot of us coloreds getting killed. That's what's hitting my head right now. But either way, well, no, not either way. Unless if that's no, that's something on something unrelated. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, because now my brain is going into that area and thinking about it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's going to come where it's going to be open season on colors. Whether you're Hamite or straight ivory. It's going to happen. Anyways. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I still, I do think that honestly we are going to go to a war with Iran either way. Just because of them dropping the dollar. Just because of that. You know? And like I was saying, I, I see Trump's Trump's thing, you know, with it being Oh, well, we're not gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and enforce sanctions, even though they're they're complying still. They're complying and they ain't even paying no attention to the state of Israel. But anyways, they're going to go ahead and enforce sanctions, uh, harsher sanctions, just to prevent us from having to go and invade them. I understand that. 
But like I said, because me, I don't totally trust Trump. What was that? I honestly don't. He's a Jesuit. You know? You know, and I don't, I don't forget things like that. You know? I mean, I understand that he can't exactly help how he grew up, where he grew up, and stuff like that. But there comes a point where you sit up there and you claim and you say that you are actually about us. That you show that you're about us. You know? Not doing this stupid mess like on the outside... You look as though you are for us and then turn around the inside and, you know. Anyways, I'm about to go ahead and eat, watch a little bit of Create TV. I don't really watch. I don't really watch that. Like every so often I'll go ahead and throw on something. Like I've been meaning to get into uh, this new X-Files thing. Gosh. See, when X Files first came out, that was my, sh that was my stuff. That, man. And then they said they were gonna bring it back. Years later, me learning some stuff, <laughs> new th new things. Then it turned into okay, they're bringing it back to fictionalize the whole uh, fallen angel alien thingy. To to falsify the whole thing of, 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 uh, I want to say conspiracy. Now, my thing is with that is that if, see, ooh we, I didn't even, oh wow. Anyways, now my thing with that is if y'all really need to throw the word conspiracy theorists, the words conspiracy theorists and the whole fictional light it must be bothersome if you got to go ahead and make fun of it like that it got to be bothersome and you and obviously we're right <laughs> if it ain't half it got to be more than half <laughs> you know <laughs> anyways i'm about to eat officially i right.